Hello everyone! I'm super excited to get started with this deck. So let's kind of see what energies are around you, your twin flame connection, and what shit... Okay. <laughs> Ooh! We have 15, a 6 here. This means change, some type of shift. Um, ooh, am I clearing something? Interesting. A powerful move came up. There's this key that's been placed. There's this... Is it a queen? I think it's a queen. It might be a king. Chess, for those of you who know chess, checkmate, that type of thing. There is something that is happening. Yeah, it is a king because the queen's right here. There is a shift. Someone just has to... It's one of those 180 shifts, if you want to call it that. Um, it could have happened already. It could happen um, around this time, especially with Capricorn season being a thing. Ends of cycles, as well as the starts of new ones, happen very drastically. So keep that in mind. Magic is in the air. I did pull up another four. Let's see what's in the... I knew smoke and mirrors was going to come up. I had that feeling. Okay. What we're looking at is sacred reverence. So again, another key, another lock, but you have it. You know everything that you need to. You have this unconditional love that is following you. You are grounded in bliss. You are grounded in your knowledge. You're grounded in understanding. Whoever I'm talking to probably does know their authentic self, whether it is a conscious thing or not. That's where you are operating out of. If you are not consciously operating at it yet, just have patience. It is going to unfold. A burst of magic. What did I say about Capricorn season? That's your confirmation. 48 turns to a um a 12 which turns to a three that's grounded encouragement and um steps forward in your manifestations it's here it's coming but burst of magic is allowing spirit allowing spirit the birth of a lotus flower it's that long muddy transformation to a beautiful flower things are here things things are gonna get real good real soon <laughs> Smoke and mirror is right here. Some of you guys might know what the smoke and mirror card is. Again, it's a six, so what I talked about in the beginning. Smoke and mirrors depicts that what you see might not necessarily be what's actually for you at this time. Um, there's stuff underneath the surface. So if you can live, some of you might be able to do this. This is a gift in itself. If you live in the world, the invisible world, underneath the surface level world, so you can feel people's energies at a, it's an empathic thing at the soul level if you can um interpret things in life at a higher consciousness um the greater truth i like to call it like you are aligned with spirit you're aligned with your soul self you'll be golden you won't have to worry about anything um if you aren't you'll probably worry but you still don't have to worry about anything <laughs> but smoke and mirrors is just that the things that are unfolding right now it, it's very smoky even here i can't get it to focus um so there's tons of magic tons and tons of magic there's light pouring through there's somebody here actually i didn't see that before it's not even supposed to be it's just smoke i don't think this is supposed to be a person but i'm not sure if you can see it but there's literally a person right here so again noticing things that you might not have noticed in the first place or things that um are evening out coming to fruition you're stepping into the new especially with your counterpart this is huge and i have grand symphony which transforms to a nine. Um, so it's the ending of cycles. But this card specifically is about aligning with spirit. It's about um, getting rewards um, for the hard work that you're putting in, that you're doing. It's about abundance. It's about being in flow and just being in harmony with the world around you. So whoever this is, you guys, you guys have done the work. You're going to be receiving major blessings soon. Um, this powerful move, though. Whether it has happened already or it has not, keep that in mind. Because it might just be something that you are afraid of that you need to do. For some of you, that's what I'm hearing. For others, it's just something's coming your way. This is so cool. I'm getting such good energy off of this. Okay, I'm going to leave you with that. I'm just going to want to check the back of the deck. Yeah, Storyteller. Okay, it's eight. That's abundance. Storyteller is be careful of the stories you tell. Um, you can rewrite your narrative if you want to, but be open to what Spirit's telling you, not what you might be telling yourself because you might be trapping yourself in old stories. But again, a key that you have for the lock, okay? It's a new chapter. You're writing your own chapter, writing your own story. Okay, I'm gonna leave you there. That was a beautiful reading. 444 as I end this. Wow. Okay, but I will see you on Sunday for a podcast. Take care of yourselves. I hope you heal. Bye.